As a marketer, your intentions for sending emails are probably good and totally legal. But unfortunately, some people view email marketing as an opportunity to scam and defraud recipients. You've done the hard work to build a brand that people recognize, and you strive to build trust with your customers through marketing. But without the right protections in place, bad actors can and will take advantage of your established brand presence. Have you ever heard the terms spoofing and phishing? Both of these terms involve a bad actor posing as your brand online and sending emails that appear to be from you, but they were never authorized by you or your team. This is a very bad situation that will have a permanent impact on your ability to send legitimate emails, as well as a huge financial consequence for your business. So what can you do to prevent this? The industry-leading tech companies who provide email messaging services have been thinking about this for years. In 2012, these organizations came together to create an email authentication system that looks out for the best interest of consumers and businesses alike. This system is called DMARC. DMARC stands for Domain-Based Message Authentication Reporting and Conformance. That's a mouthful. What does that actually mean? Well, you can think of DMARC as a set of instructions for email inbox providers. When an inbox provider receives a message from your domain, they will run that message through a couple of checks. These checks are designed to see if someone is attempting to impersonate your business via email. Let's dig into this a little bit further. The two authentication checks included in DMARC are DKIM and SPF which both detect when an unauthorized party tries to use your domain. DKIM stands for Domain Keys Identified Mail. DKIM searches the header of an email for an invisible signature and makes sure that that signature aligns with the domain name the message was sent from. And SPF stands for Sender Policy Framework. SPF detects forged sender addresses by checking to see if the IP address that the message was sent from is actually authorized by the domain owner. So what happens if a message fails one of these checks? That's where the DMARC policy kicks in. DMARC is stored in your DNS as a text record. Within that text record, there is a tag called P. The P tag tells the inbox provider which action to take in the event that a message fails authentication. There are three possible values for P. None, which tells inbox providers to take no action. Quarantine, which tells inbox providers to move the message directly to the spam folder. Or reject, which tells the inbox provider to block the message entirely. Brands may set their P tag to none when they first set up DMARC authentication so that they can monitor these reports for a period of time and make sure that everything appears to be functioning properly with their branded sending domain. And once a brand feels confident that their sending domain and DNS records are configured correctly, they may move toward what we call enforcement. Quarantine is a form of enforcement where messages that fail DMARC are sent to spam. And reject is the strictest form of enforcement where messages that fail DMARC are not accepted at all by the inbox provider. Ultimately, DMARC is a safety tool that helps you protect your domain and maintain trust with your customer base. It is a necessary precaution that all digital brands should take if they plan on using email to communicate with their customers in any meaningful way. Want to learn more? Check out the description below for some next steps. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this.